What does it take to make $10,000 a month on Amazon? I'm gonna walk you through the next steps and what it will take to get there. So what do I know about selling on Amazon? My company, Buy Boxer, was a top 25 Amazon business. We were selling a product every two seconds. I also started the largest Amazon conference for Amazon wholesalers. This is called AMZ United, and we had our first one last year with 700 people in attendance. It was all focused on content to help Amazon wholesalers grow their business. So what is wholesale? When we're talking about an Amazon wholesale business, we're talking about buying products from distributors or from brands directly or manufacturers. We're buying products that customers are already asking for. And we buy them at a wholesale price and then ship it into Amazon and sell it for a profit. If you wanna find the best products and brands, I built a tool called Smart Scout that I used to scratch my own itch when we were growing by Boxer. This helps you find the best of the best brands. You wanna make sure that you're spending a good use of your time and finding the brands and products that are likely to generate you as much revenue as possible. Wholesale is one of the fastest Amazon businesses to scale. You can get to $10,000 in revenue rather quickly. The other business models, the arbitrage and private label, they can be good too, no problems, but like they take a little bit longer to scale in the way that wholesale does. So what does it take to make $10,000 a month on Amazon? Let's talk about margin. So when we're talking about margin, that's how much profit you are making on every sale. So if you have $10,000 in sales, uh, let's say you have a 20% gross margin, uh, that's you're making $2,000 of profit off of $10,000 in revenue. In my experience, we had anywhere from about 15% to 25% of margin on everything that we sold. So with that margin, to get to $10,000 a month, you needed to be doing about $50,000 in monthly revenue. Now that number might seem daunting, might seem a little bit unobtainable. So I look at Smart Scout, which you know analyzes all the Amazon sellers, and there are over 12,000 wholesale businesses that are doing over $50,000 a month. So with that in mind, about you know every day a few people are starting a business that actually achieves this metric. 12,000 is quite a bit. And the ones that are doing around $50,000 in revenue, they usually have about four to 20 brands and anywhere from about 10 to maybe even up to a thousand different products. So you don't need hundreds of brands to make $10,000 a month. You only need a handful. So just put on your vision board that you only need five to 10 or even 20 brands to make this vision possible. Now, $50,000 a month of revenue may seem like a lot, but let's just jump in the numbers and show you what it actually takes to get to this spot. So let's build the three realistic timelines. Now I've created a chart that we could break down how long this is going to take in inventory cycles. In inventory cycles that you know, you buy your inventory, you send it into Amazon and you wait for it to sell through. That can take on average between 20 days, 45 days. If you have some bad inventory, it can take a little bit longer to get through it. But oftentimes you're buying into your second cycle before the first one finishes. So as we jump into this chart, as you see, if we have a $2,000 investment, then we should expect to get about $4,000 of revenue from that because we're buying at wholesale and you usually sell for about double. There's some fees in there that make this 20% gross margin. So we're gonna assume 20%. That means on $4,000 of revenue, you profit $800. Now throw that $800 into your first cycle. With $2,800, you sell $5,600 and profit $1,100. We throw that back into the second cycle. And as you can see, we inch down to the third, fourth, fifth cycle. By the fifth cycle, your $2,000 investment of inventory has about $10,000 of inventory there. And then we jump into the sixth, seventh, and at the eighth cycle is where uh, we see profiting $11,000 a month. Now, again, you know, we're making a few assumptions. You know, maybe you have to invest in uh, some infrastructure to make this possible. This is just a gross margin. And you can, oftentimes people start paying themselves around this time and so you know you're digging into your ten thousand dollars a month which does slow things down but 
as you're replacing your full-time income, this is what you can expect. Now let's say you start with $5,000 investment. You can get there faster. You can get there by the fifth cycle. Now if you start with $10,000 investment, you can get there within three cycles of inventory. So that's pretty cool to see it broken down like this. This is what it takes from start to finish to scale to about $10,000 uh, of, of monthly profit. I have seen this happen in real life. I've seen this happen in dozens, hundreds of other people's lives as there are many, many successful Amazon wholesalers. To recap, it could take as little as two grand to uh, get yourself to a place of $10,000 of monthly profit in an Amazon wholesale business. If you have any questions, the, the YouTube comments are open. We're happy to help and engage with you guys as much as possible. So if you wanna jumpstart an Amazon wholesale business, Smart Scout really is the best first tool to discover brands that are open to working with wholesalers. So we have a coupon code that is exclusive to this YouTube channel, SMART2024, that will give you access to the million brands on Amazon and you can find the best of the best. So thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you at the next video.